after a very successful two seasons with the first season getting quite a bit of episodes and the second season getting 26 episodes with numerous stars from football and WWE alike, this season um, got 13 episodes. And there were a few episodes with basketball players, but that was it. Um, Bailey and Herman's um, whole fucking storyline ends because Herman mispronounces the word meme. So she's not into him anymore. So that's solved, I guess. Um, apparently they're too old to do babysitter pranks, so... Um, Bailey's sister, JD, is in on it now, even though none of them really look that much older than they did in, in season one. They, they really don't. Um, we had an episode last season that I forgot to talk about where, um, Bailey's mom showed up, but we never saw her on screen. Well, now she has a few appearances this season and it's very underwhelming. They always talked about her like she was this really crazy person that slept all the time and she was always getting in trouble with the law and shit. Um, none of that happens besides in the finale. Um, they kind of do a callback to the whole sleeping in thing. Like there was a throwaway line in season two. I don't remember the exact line, but Bailey says something about her not being able to get up past noon. Bailey mentions that Will doesn't get up till 1 p.m. And Bailey's mom goes, what's wrong with that? That's that's basically the only thing that stayed intact. She's just a fucking generic mom. So two seasons of Bailey hyping her up as this, like, crazy mom, you know. She's not like normal moms. She's just a normal mom. We see Dusty's dad for one episode. Herman and Chance's dad becomes a reoccurring character. And, um, Will's mom shows up in the finale for like half a second near the end of the episode. And the end of the episode could have been great with what they were doing. and I thought it would have been absolutely hilarious, but they immediately back out of it. Throughout three whole seasons, they treated Will... Like he was this lonely dude with no friends. He pretends to be friends with their mailman. Um, who pretty much doesn't like him. Tells him not to call him anymore and shit. But um, he still tries to be friends with him. Anyways, um, the season finale has him with a bunch of puppets. And calling them Herman, Chance, Bailey, JD, and... Dusty and all that. So you think, oh, he's so lonely, he created puppets this whole time they weren't real, but then they pull a cheap gag about how you just walked the prank. So, cool, I guess. Not really. <laughs> um, Vlad only makes one appearance in a um, episode where they get lost in the forest or whatever. And that was almost near the end of the season. Um, Court, um, Courtney Lynn has like a few appearances. And even tries to crush the beef. But Bailey thinks um, it's a trap. So she um, tries to get ahead of it. And it does not work. Because, you know, she actually was trying to... Squash the beef. So she ruined it or whatever. Okay. We also get this new kid for whatever reason. That's bad at selling yo-yos. And then they turn the yo-yos into fidget spinners or whatever. Um, it's very odd. They also do bottle flip pranks and shit. They try to do like more modern day shit. Um. Which isn't a surprise since the whole show is a prank show. Which is clearly made because of how popular YouTube pranks were at the time. So they tried to gain success off of that. Um, they also have an old episode that I'm pretty sure is just mocking cancel culture. 
where Chance accidentally posts something and everybody's pissed at him. And he tries to say that you don't know who I am as a person via one bad post and shit. You know, like the whole thing was an accident. He could have just said it was an accident. But the way they frame it in the episode is like they're making fun of, you know, cancel culture. Which I think is very stupid. Cancel culture is not a real thing. Um, it's just ways people use to deflect. Like, a lot of people think cancel culture is ridiculous. So if you bring up cancel culture when talking about something bad you've done, it, it immediately relegates it as stupid. A lot of people do it for, like, generally awful things. Currently, Vince McMahon is in a lawsuit investigation for who knows how many times that he's been accused um, for um, doing stuff to women again. And people are calling it cancel culture. It's not cancel culture. It's a fucking lawsuit. He could go to jail for this. It's not cancel culture, you fucking dumbass. Um, you know, people um, treating cancel culture bad is crazy to me. Like, you know, someone will bring up that you said a racial slur like 10 years ago and then they'll immediately like laugh it off and talk about how absolutely ridiculous it is that um, that they should be held accountable for something they did and never apologized for. Because um, it's one thing to, you know, bring up something someone did and say, I'm never for going to forgive you. You said a racial slur. It's another thing to hold someone accountable and be like, hey, you should apologize for this. What you did was kind of messed up. But people treat it like it's such a terrible thing that you don't like when celebrities get away with saying terrible shit. Like when James Gunn got fired from the MCU briefly for his disgusting pedophilic jokes. But now everybody fucking loves him because he wrote the Suicide Squad movie and it was good. Um, which I only found out about those pedophilic jokes a few months ago, I think. Maybe a little bit longer, but it was definitely, like, after the whole Suicide Squad thing. Because it became trending what he said after the movie came out. Um, but I don't know if I had seen it exactly after the movie came out. And geez, I think that movie is almost two years old now. So it might have been two years ago when I found out. But anyways, yeah, Walk the Prank. It, it went out with a bang. It, it was not very good. It went out with a f fucking whimper, more likely. Um, season one was really good. Season two had a lot of cool actors in it, like Zendaya and WWE wrestlers, football players. They were going all out. And then this season, they have a wedding episode where Bailey's mom gets married. Wow. A lot of the episodes just weren't very interesting this season. And there weren't even that many.